everyone, welcome to my Shein try on haul and I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time. Instead of holding up the clothes in my filming room like I usually do, I'm just going to go ahead and put the clothes on and try them on and let me know if you like, for those of you who have watched my other try on hauls, let me know if you like the way I do it this way or if you like when I sit down and like show the top our dress first and then try it on um, because either way I don't mind doing doing them either way so it's up to you so just let me know whatever you prefer so this time I'm just going to try the clothes on and describe them to you that way so the first one is this lilac top and it looks like this and I paired it with a jean skirt and I tucked it in and it does have little cutouts here and here. And this is the sleeve. And it does have a button. It buttons here. And I paired it with these earrings that I also got from Shein. They're um, white hearts. The next top is this top, and this is a off-the-shoulder ruffle top, and um, it is, it looked, when I first ordered it, it, would, it looked beige to me, but it's actually beige and white stripes. So, I, I also have the jean skirt on with this, and this would be, and I do, would prefer to wear something like this with high-waisted jeans or like a high-waisted shorts. Or if they make jean skirts high-waisted, then that's also an option. Um, but I do like it. I think it's a really a nice, fun summer top. And this is up closer. And these are the sleeves. They have like a ruffle. And... This is the top, and you can have it off the shoulder. You can probably put it more on the shoulder, too, if you wanted to. But that's meant to be worn off the shoulder. And I paired it with this butterfly choker. It looks like it's on like a, kind of like a fishing line. So it looks like the butterfly is floating, or flying, and it landed on like, you know, your neck, which is so cute. And pretty and the butterfly has two little rhinestones I don't know if you can see them and hopefully you can tell that the top is striped I thought that it was just beige and then when I got it I noticed it was beige and white stripes hopefully that's coming through on the video but here's the choker again it's super pretty I think this is so cute I love this together This next top is a yellow, I think it's called a frill neck top, and it does have some frills or ruffles, and it's just yellow. I paired it with some of the, some of these, these are corduroys, they're kind of a burgundy um, corduroy, that's what I paired it with, but these I got from, these I've had for ages and I don't remember where I got them from, but we were talking about the top is from Shein, it's yellow, it's really pretty, a really pretty top for summer. There's a button here, so a button's there, and I tucked it in to my pants. 
this dress is a landscape print dress. That is what they call it on Shein. But this dress gives me Reese Witherspoon, Draper, James vibes. This whole outfit does because I bought these earrings. These are like beaded flower earrings to go with this dress. But this is the dress. This is the sleeve. It has like a puffy sleeve. I'll show you the earrings in a minute. And it does have um, this like frill at the neck. And you do get a sash with it to tie it, to cinch it in at the waist. I'm pairing this with some mules that I also got from Shein. These are just some white mules, but I didn't, I got these last, I think the last haul that I did, not this haul. The dress goes past my knee, and I do like that. I really love this dress. Okay, and here's the earrings. They're a beaded um, flower earring or floral earring. They look super cute. And so this next top is like a crochet. It's a white top. And it's also a keyhole top. And I did pair it with some more earrings from Shein that I bought this time. And also this belt that I bought from Shein on my last haul. It's like a, it's a rhinestone belt. And these are just my jeggings. And these are the earrings. They're kind of like a gemstone mineral earring. And I don't know if you can see, I got lipstick on this shirt. Hopefully it comes out. So I also got these from Shein. They call them irregular drop earrings. That's what they call them. This top is a, I think it, it's kind of makes me think, I think these are called color block tops. I think Shein calls this something else. It has a ruffle here, and then here, it's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of a ruffle kind of detail at the neck. And it's just a short sleeve top. And I also have those same jeggings on with it. And this top was inspired by one of my favorites. Fashionistas JLo. I love her fashion and I saw her with a top um, similar to this top and I found this on Shein and I just love it. It, kind of, it really reminds me of her and the top that she was wearing. I think it was in her um, that dance show that she hosts. I don't watch it, <laughs> but um, that dance show that she has, she was wearing something like this on there. And I am going to be wearing this in my next video, which is going to be, I think, I know it's going to be Dollar Tree, and I think I'm going to do my empties. And I may do Shop Miss A if I don't do it today. So, you'll see this again in a day or so hopefully <laughs> love it the last top is this top and this is um they call this a hot pink top and it does have a bow here 
I think this is like, I call this color fuchsia, but they have it listed as hot pink. And it has a bow, it has, it's kind of cinched here. The sleeves are very, it's a very flowy shirt. I do have it tucked into those same high-waisted leg jeggings, but this top is very flowy. It's, I love the sleeves. And I do have my white sunglasses to pair with it. So we're going to finish the rest of the haul in here. We finished the try-on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, if you would like for me to do it in here, like show the item in here, well, the clothing item in here, and then try it on in a separate video the way I have I had been doing it prior to this one, just let me know in the comments below. Or if you like this one, let me know. Or if it doesn't... Either way is fine with you. Let me know. So I'm going to continue with the rest of the items that I got because I did get some um, tech accessories, I guess you could call it. I got some more jewelry and I got another pair of shoes and I also got some kitchen gadgets. So I'm going to get started. So the, I'm going to start with like the things that I got for my phone and also I have an iPad. Too, and I got some covers for the iPad. My a lady who one of our customers gave me a fruit a iPad for free. So um, I do have like a Kindle Fire, but I usually do everything on my phone. But it's nice to have an iPad, and she gave it to us. So um, yeah, so we got I got some cases. My husband also got a case for his iPad. My son didn't want a case for his. But my husband just got a plain black case that covers the iPad and then when you lift it up, you can like fold it to make it stand, the iPad stand up. And then it also, when you open that cover, it just like turns your iPad on. But anyways, I'm going to start with this. This is, one of the, this is one of these. It comes like this. It says New Fashion. These are called... I can't think of the name of them right now. But, you know, you put them on your phone. On the back of your phone to hold your phone. And I got this really pretty, like, iridescent one. It says for car, home, and office. It has this on the back. I can't think of the name of it right now. And now for the iPad cases, our covers. I got this one. It's a marbly, marble detail. It has like lilac, blue, or mint kind of colors in it. And then it has like a gold and it has, a, it's like marble. Really pretty. And I'm going to show you, this is the exact same one that I have on my iPad now. But this one is a gray, white, black marble. And you open it like this. And it, it opens like that. And you can close it. And then you can also set your iPad up like this on there. It has three different grooves. So yes, I picked that up. I think I got all the jewelry out. So this is going to be all the jewelry. So these are um, like scarf buckle bracelets. And they have several different ones. And I picked up this print. It is a cow print. And I got a sandal kind of similar to this. And I really love this print. You can see the buckle. And then this is like a scarf. And there are bracelets. I don't know if you could put these on your purse if you wanted to. And then these are just a different. They're not. These are not animal print. These are just like a different print. So this one has like a fuchsia. Fuchsia beige 
gold there's like gold chain and then this one has red this one really reminds me of like one that I got from Dollar Tree recently and it has like gold red and white and then this one has like that lilac color and it has like gold and it also so here's all three of them together very colorful very pretty I got some of these these are butterflies they're hoop earrings And this is a butterfly bracelet. And it also has, this is a bracelet, but it has butterflies, as you can see. Let me turn that around. And this, you put your finger in through this ring right here. And it's a bracelet. This is a ring. It's a flower ring. It's got like a cluster of flowers this is another flower ring but they have but I think this looks like clovers more than flowers this bracelet this is mother and daughter bracelet this is the daughter bracelet and the mother bracelet. I don't have any daughters, but I do. I am a daughter. <laughs> so I got the mother bracelet. I mainly got this because of the mother bracelet. This is a crown ring. I don't know. Hopefully you can see it through the plastic. It's just a ring. It looks like a crown. Then this one is a bracelet but it looks like a nail and it's a rose gold and this is another one of the like a nail bracelet but this one is gold and it has rhinestones on it This one is a, this bracelet looks like, you know, the heart, the heartbeat. I think it is called a heartbeat bracelet and it has rhinestones. Then this is a lock and key. I believe this is a necklace. I believe this is a layered necklace and it is all tangled up it is it's a hard and key necklace it's a layered necklace isn't that pretty and this is the bracelet this is just a lock a lock bracelet to match it These are some earrings. They're pearl earrings and they have little bees on them. This is another ring and it is a, it looks like this. Um, it's some type of Irish ring, and I am Irish. I did the 23andMe um, DNA test, and I do have a lot of Irish heritage. And this one is um, a, a popular ring, and it remind it's not. 
but it reminded me of this ring that I saw. Um, and I can't remember the name of it. It's Irish. If I remember the name, I will put it here. But it looks like that. And this one is adjustable, I believe. Really pretty. Got this bow. I believe this is a choker. This is a bow choker. Look how pretty. That is so pretty. And it is adjustable. And this is a bow necklace. And this one is rose gold. And I'm going to have to open this one because it is tangled up. Okay, let's see if we can get this together. <laughs> okay, so here is the rose gold necklace. It has a bow, as you can see, with a rhinestone. I think that has a rhinestone. Yep, the bow has a rhinestone. And it also has this little rhinestone dangling from it. And then it has this piece, which I don't know if this is supposed to adjust. I believe this is like to adjust it. But I'm not sure. Because it also has a clasp on the back. I also picked up these earrings. And they're pearl. And they kind of remind me of Chanel. The CC's. But these are just, they're not C's. They're pearl. And they look like that. I picked up this tassel necklace. And it does need to be straightened out. It is a little tangled up. But this is how it looks. Okay. I have some stackable bracelets. And these all came together. So you get this. They're bangles. You get this clover. Black clover. A white clover this marble triangle some gold stars That one, the little one has some little rhinestones in it. And this is just, oh, this is a B. This must be why I picked this up. Like a rhinestone B with the rhinestones all around it. Super cute. Love that. Last thing that I got as like jewelry pieces is some stackable rings. So I'm going to show you them. This one. It's just rhinestones. And this one kind of reminds me of one of my wedding rings or engagement rings that my husband gave me when he asked me to marry him. Yes, he gave me more than one engagement ring and wedding ring. And we also picked out some wedding rings together. And my wedding band kind of looks like this. This is funny. And he also gave me, when he asked me to marry him, he gave me bracelets, earrings, too. And I can't remember if he gave me a necklace or not. But yes, he gave me, we have some, we have different wedding bands and sets. And I never wear it. That's another one. That one looks similar to the the one I showed you before. This one is really pretty. It's like a chain. On this side of the chain is is more, um, this one is a smooth, this side is smooth and the other side has like ridges in it. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera or not. And then this is the reason why I got those because I love this heart 
yellow rhinestone and it has like little rhinestones around the heart and they're all gold that's super pretty I love to I want to start doing like the stackable rings and bracelets and stuff I think that's really pretty this is not a jewelry item but this is to organize your jewelry it's a jewelry organizer and it looks like a binder and you just open it like this and then you can organize your earrings I think this is mostly for earrings as you can see yes you get one two three four you get four pages to organize your earrings I forgot to mention that I got some skincare items so I'm going to show you those now so this is called a skin roller system and I think it's called a microderma needle microderma derma I'm not sure but it's a skin roller it has 504 needle 540 needles ultra sharp needle tips cross line needle arrangement stable and flexible needles it looks like this and I'm definitely going to read the instructions very carefully and watch some tutorials on YouTube before I do this. But I cannot wait to try it. It's a efficient system for anti-aging skin, regeneration skin tighten, and collagen stimulation therapy. And it does have caution on the back here it says only for personal use do not share it skin with a wound should not use this roller be careful if the client is allergic to metal irritating cosmetics is forbidden before skin recovery and put where children can't touch so yes I picked that up and that's what it looks like then I picked this up it says, what is this? On the side here, it says traditional Chinese medicine. This is what it is. I think this is and they call it a vacuum cup okay these are cups that you put to um they're like suction cups for your face it looks like that when you open the box it looks like this it has instructions in China, Chinese, oh my gosh, in Chinese, I believe, I'm assuming. It looks like this. And again, I'm going to read any instructions and I'm also going to watch videos on this. These are plastic. Very interesting. I want to try it to see what it can do to help my skin and I got this this is a blackhead remover it is um, a beauty skincare specialist vacuum negative pressure type acne pore cleaning instrument cleaning instrument and it is effective against acne, blackheads, grease. It says that, which I don't understand. I don't, I do not understand that, but okay. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like this. And I guess you get, this is the, you put this on there on the, cleaning instrument let's see yeah there are it looks like there are 
at least three of these. Maybe they're different. I don't know if they're different sizes. Okay, this one does have English instructions, so that's good. And you do get a four because it has one on there already. And it looks like that. So I can't wait to try this. And they gave me a pretty rose gold color. Okay, and the last thing that I got as far as like skincare, beauty, health, is this. This is a um, face strap. It goes around your face and then I guess it's to, I'm assuming this is to help with double chins. And according to my son, I have a triple chin. So <laughs> yes, that's why I picked this up. It just goes around here. And I think you leave it on for 40 minutes or something. I'm not sure. I need to read the instructions and do some research on this also. I picked up some rhinestone hair pins. And these were inspired by one of my favorites on, what is that um, show? It's set in Spain. And I cannot think of the name of it. Ugh, that's so frustrating. And when you're filming and you can't think of the name of Elite. The Elite. That's what it is. And she had these in her hair. Her name is Letitia, I think. But she had these um, clips in her hair, so I got some similar to those because I really like them. And it says Queen, and I'm not going to say that one. But here's the fun fact, guys. I have a potty mouth, and I do curse a lot. <laughs> But anyways, so maybe I should put it this way. I just don't do it on my channel because nobody wants to hear that. So those are fun. Lucretia, I believe that's her name, Lucretia. I love her. She's... She's kind of like the baddie on the elite. I love the bad girls in TV shows. I love the bad girls on TV shows. Sometimes on movies, but mostly on the TV shows. Okay, these are some kitchen gadgets. So I got this from my sink, my kitchen sink. It's called a faucet sponge rack. This is like a blue color. I don't know what color it's picking up on here. Let's just open it because I'm going to wash it and put it on my sink anyways. So. Hopefully this part is adjustable to fit on my sink. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. There's a place for, it's just a faucet sponge wrap. But as you can see, you can put your, you can actually put soap or, okay, so you can put your sponge in here and you can put soap here. Let me do it. It's going to look, be facing this way. And you can attach it to your sink. There's a little hook here. And what do they have hooked to that? I guess it's kind of like a fruit, a vegetable pillar they have it. And then you can hang your, um, dish cloth from here so that's really nice soap the sponge dish cloth and if you have a peeler or something that you need to hang you can hang it from here and then you can put it adjust it here and then this is a dish rack i believe that's what it's called what do they call it we'll have to open this up and see i'm not gonna I'm just gonna, I got the gray one, and that is like a very light blue color, like a powder blue. And I'm going to show you guys this picture so you can see what this is. It looks like it's easy to put together. This is to put your plates in. See how they have their, they're putting the plates in there. Put it together like that. 
And then when you're drying your plates, if you want to use one of those um, dish mats, you can use that and dry your plates. Our saucers, it looks like this is mainly for plates. So you just pick that up. And the shoes that I picked up were these. These are some, they're like, they have like this, they're sandals. They have this cow print. And then they have like this woven, this it's like woven at the toe. It looks like that. Let me get the other one. Super cute. Sometimes you have to figure out your European size on Shein. And another thing is I always size up. Like I wear a small medium, but I usually get a large in the clothing that I get from Shein. And these are size 8. I wear a size 7.5, but I just got an 8 because I don't think that they do half sizes, but I'm not sure. That must be why that I got an 8 or either they were out of 7.5, one or the other. So I picked those up. And it's easy. You can just look on, um, you can just look on the internet and figure out your European size if you, I think, I wear a size 7.5 and, and I believe don't quote me that my European size is a 39, but make sure you check and double check. So the last items that I picked up were face masks. Okay, because I believe we're probably going to be wearing them for a while. And I'm going to open these because they come in plastic like this. This is for my son actually. So this is how they come and I'm going to open them because of course I'm going to wash them anyways so that you guys can see what they look like if you're interested. So this one I got for my son. It looks like that. It's just, this is not really, these are like face coverings and I don't know how well they're going to hold up. They were only a couple dollars. Then this one comes like this and this one I really like it. It has lemons and flowers. I don't know if you can really tell. It looks like this. Kind of like a drawstring, kind of. And this, and it has like this, I don't know what that is. And it does have filter inside of here. Like a filter. I don't know if this is like a, I think this is like a sewn in, sewn in filter. This is the back. So this one is like a lemon one. Super cute. Then this one is like two animal print. You get two of these. How can you open this? Okay. This is a flop. Open it. So you get two animal print. These are more like face coverings also. But this is fine. Like, this is what they're recommending, I think, for us to wear. Unless you're sick, then you probably need to wear something else. Or you probably aren't supposed to be leaving, if you're leaving your home if you're sick. <laughs> but, yes. Um, wow. <laughs> Okay, so that was all that I picked up from Shein. I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!